Hi everybody, Sonica here and my name is Christian with the founders of The Love Works Solution. Today we want to talk to you about how to deal with financial stress in a relationship during coronavirus. And we, ju we just know that there's, there's financial stress, there's stress, there's health stress and you know financial stress and, stress and health are linked. Financial stress, some people have, some people tell us that you know financial stress is killing my relationship what do I do with all this stress and what do I do with all this financial stress in my marriage or in a marriage? So we want to show you how to deal with financial stress and we've got just a couple of ideas. We know this can be a pretty expansive topic here, but we've got a couple ideas we want to share with you. So we'll start by saying our, our first tip really is to create a declaration that keeps you centered. So if you really knew us, you would know that our house actually went to foreclosure around the time of the 2008 market crash. And the and last big worldwide crisis, or at least U.S.-wide crisis. <laughs> and we were, to be totally honest, we were terrified. So we were terrified of losing our house. We had um, a Ponzi scheme investment that we didn't know was a Ponzi scheme, obviously. And it went, you know, blew up. We had other real estate that went just went down the drain <laughs> in the other crash. So we had massive financial stress. So we actually wrote up, uh, we called it a declaration of what we were committed to that kept us out of panic. Like literally times when we were so scared that we were mobilized by fear from a, about not having money to pay our bills, not being able to keep our house, all of that same stuff that a lot of people are really scared about nowadays. We wrote this declaration and sometimes we read it out loud to each other like five or six times <laughs> yeah. to help us kind of get back to center. And our commitment in that was we're gonna stay in our center, we're not gonna get consumed with the fear of financial stress and ruin. We do not want to go down there. So it's in this, that spirit that we wrote this and would say it out loud to each other. So we want to give you a little sample and we totally encourage you to do something similar to this, which is to write up something, the purpose of which is to center you and remind you of who you are and what you're committed to. Your own little manifesto. We'll give a few examples, a few paragraphs from ours here. So this is ours. We are resolute in our decision to do whatever it takes to realize our goals, disregarding of our changing moods and thoughts, and to act consistent with that decision. We proactively maintain a positive attitude and optimistic outlook by choosing beliefs and actions consistent with our vision. We commit to daily line up with our desires, to risk and expand in our full self-expression, to take massive action and give thanks for our many blessings. Because who are we to think that we are not enough for this challenge? Who are we to doubt God's magnificent capacity to create through us? We daily express our gratitude for everything we have and we commit ourselves to rise to our fullest potential as a gift to others as well as ourselves. We act from the faith that all is well, that we're gonna be fine, and everything we want is on its way to us somehow. So we we wrote that and more. We just are giving you a little <laughs> snippet of it. And literally, it, it made all the difference in keeping us out of panic and fear. So we totally encourage you to write up something like that that keeps you focused on where you want to go off of where you're scared you're going to go. <laughs> yeah. The second, the second piece of advice we want to give you for how to deal with the financial stress in a relationship here is make make a list actually make three lists maybe it's three columns on a piece of paper and here's what it is one list is of well all the lists here are it's three lists of your expenses and we want you to separate them into three categories first category is necessities second category is nice to haves and third category is luxury so necessities could be uh, you know food electricity shelter, stuff like that. Nice to haves could be our Netflix subscription or having our hot tub heated up. Something really nice to have, but we'd probably survive if we didn't have it. And then there are luxuries, which could be, uh, you know, that, that new pair of boots that I think are really cool. It'd make me feel good if I have those. I don't really need them, but it'd be fun luxury. So 
Yeah, go ahead. Well, just what that will do once you kind of narrow those, you know, categorize those into these three different groupings, it gives you ideas of what you can potentially cut to save expenses, which really is can be useful for when you're being scared about money, right? It's like, what, what can you cut back? Yeah. And the third option we want to give you, you'll hear more about this. The third tip we want to give you is to explore options for how to get more money, to get more resources. And we'll, we'll give you some ideas here. First one we just gave you is reduce your expenses where you can. That's a good way to save money. And, you know, I was talking to a guy who he's not going out to Starbucks anymore, right? Because of the whole <laughs> shelter at home. And yeah. he's saving a lot of money from Star. He's realizing how much money he has spent on Starbucks. So that's an example of a nice to have and that, you know, can get cut and save money. Yeah. Another one is you could look at uh, opening new credit cards. Maybe in this, this environment where interest rates are super low, maybe you can find 0% credit cards or maybe you have a local money institution close to zero percent loans whether you end up using the money or not it might really help alleviate your stress if you know you have access to it pull out money from a savings account an investment account a 401k you know we we save money for exactly situations like this like feel free to give that to yourself if it's going to make a big difference in your mood i also remember reading someplace um uh, in the news that they're actually allowing people to take up to a hundred thousand dollars out of a 401k without without early withdrawal penalties you still might have tax consequences but you won't have the early withdrawal penalty so you could explore that as an option yeah, as well. all of which you of course want to run by your tax professional but just getting clear about oh you know what if it really gets bad we do have a hundred grand in a retirement account we didn't mean it for this purpose but it could come really handy and it might help us feel more at ease now. Another option is ask for loans or gifts from people who care about you. You know, we've had a lot of people who are through this time looking for where they can give and contribute and you might be just such a person that somebody would love to help out. You know, so feel free to ask somebody, hey, we're short on our rent for this month. Would you be willing to you know, support us by giving us 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks towards that. And you'll be surprised a lot of times when we ask, we might be su delightedly surprised when people come through. Yeah, another option is to defer payments. I actually have a friend who said, you know, I have deferred payments. And you know, today in this environment, a lot of banks have opened up the option for, for example, deferring your mortgage payment for three months. My friend said, you know, I have done that with my insurance company, with you know some of the utilities with my mortgage company i've gotten i've been able to defer for several months many of these payments and that is really helping me get through this time and be less stressed because you know the other thing we didn't say but which is really important in in a relationship when our financial stress rises you know that's basically survival fear right financial stress today is survival fear and it just comes out with each other and gets directed at whoever I'm around, my loved ones, my wife, my kids. So anything we can do to decrease that stress is really useful. Well, and also the other thing I'll say too is when you explore options, sometimes that alone, just knowing there are options, yeah, right. can help reduce stress even if you don't take action on them. Yeah, and speaking of which, the last idea for that portion we thought is look at what stuff you have that you might be able to sell. There's a lot of things you can sell today that you don't need to leave your house for. It can be shipped, it can be sold online. You know, maybe you have a fancy kitchen gadget or that mountain bike in your garage you never use. I know. I've, I've talked to one who said her house is cleaner than it's ever been right now because she's got <laughs> lots of time to clean up. And so really, this is a good time to organize and sort through and potentially get rid of stuff that you no longer need that could bring in some extra dough at a time when you might really need it. Yeah, and we said we had four ideas for how to manage stress. So the first three ones we gave you is one create this declaration, you know, the anti-stress manifesto. That was the first one. The second one is categorize your expenses into three categories, necessities, nice to haves, and luxuries. Third one is the one we just talked about, explore options for how to get more money, resources, or have. And I'm really scared and panicked. We're feeling stuck and like we don't have options and there's nothing we can do. And so the 
the gift in all of these these tips that we're wanting to give you really is to connect you with what options you do have so that you can connect to what what power you have to make a change so yeah the more you can connect with well what can i do what actions can i take what actions are we aligned with that we want to move forward around and as you move forward and you experience the shifts in the the money that starts to come in as you take those actions again it will reduce the stress and also get more money coming in for you yeah so we hope you'll uh, take take some of this advice experiment with it do which do that which works for you you can leave the rest and uh, we wish you just all the best in these giant times we know there's a lot of stress and we're here to help so keep an eye out for other great great material from our hand and uh, we'll see you on the next yeah, video yeah be gentle with yourselves <laughs>